5K run for hope and charity on Saturday the 28th. Now joining me with more details, our event chairperson, Lourdes Bamba, and Guma San Jose acting program administrator, Mr. Mike Suzuki. Half a day to you both, and delighted happy day. Liberation Day. Thank you, you too. We always celebrate liberation here on the <laughs> island and everything, but happy Liberation Day to you both. Same to you. Thank okay. you. And coming off such a wonderful Liberation Day celebration here, our 68th and everything like that, you guys go right into your annual 5K, as I mentioned earlier. Yes, as you that. mentioned earlier, it's scheduled for this Saturday on July 28th at um, Skinner's Plaza in Again, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, it benefits uh, Catholic social service and everything like that. What types of, of service do you provide to the community? Yeah. The proceeds of this 5K is going to go to Guma San Jose. Okay. That's the reason Mike Suzuki is here. Mm -hmm. It's the homeless pro uh, shelter, and it's the uh, homeless program that helps the individuals here on the island that are in need of these services. You know, mm -hmm. And uh, uh, shelter, uh, so emergency shelter for families or individuals that are in in need of emergency center, a shelter for, um, <clears throat> for due to financial reasons or other uh, problems within the home. All right, very well. We are going to talk because there are a ton of runners right now watching this, and you know they want to know what the route is and everything like that. We'll get to that in a moment. But Mike, um, you know, in addition to what's just been said about your organization and everything like that. Um, how can people get involved or how can people find you if they if they are in need of service or how can they reach out well sure uh first off jason thank you very much for uh, the opportunity for uh, catholic social service to be on your program now if they anybody needs uh, assistance then they should just call catholic social services and they'll help help introduce them or route them to the different shelters uh we have shelters for the um, the homeless for the male population and for the families that are in need. So uh, we have two different shelters uh, that they can be accommodated with. Mm. Now it's never a job, of course. That's, that's always a calling. Yes, it is. Yes, right. it is. It's, uh, we, we do hold uh, um, approximately about 44 uh, cases a month and anywhere from uh, 95 to 125 um, individuals in, in the shelter. Uh, per month and we do also help um, with their food. Uh, we do have a food bank uh, with the generous uh, donations from the community and uh, those that don't have uh, uh, assistance for uh, food stamp and welfare mm -hmm. then we provide them some foods and we also uh, have consistent uh, meals uh, throughout the, the different entities that uh, offer their donations to have hot meals uh, brought to them once a month. Okay, and to of course help you guys do your very fine work and everything. Like we have this 5K coming up and everything like that. So yes, correct. now for all the information the runners want to know, what is the route? Because every time we do a 5K interview, that is always the most important part. Okay, the route is uh, you start over at uh, Skinner's Plaza. Mm -hmm. You go out to the main highway and then out to Route 4 and going down towards O'Brien and then passed uh, towards the um, Bank of Guam in, in uh, Santa Ana, I think, was the, the road right mm -hmm. there. And then going, cutting back out, right out to the main highway, again back to the Skinner's Plaza. So there's some turns involved. And you yes, there is, yeah. Degree turns. That, yeah. That, this mm -hmm. is also one of, you know, this, this isn't the first time that route has been used for a 5K here in the community, but that is probably the most scenic Yes. route that you'll take you know you go right through the capital like and yeah. know, lots of nice stuff to see while yeah. you're competing and while you're getting exercise yeah and i'm telling everybody it's basically almost like the december 8 route you know when you go to procession it's basically the same route exactly you know so with catholic social services we're right there in the middle of again yeah and Skinner's Plaza. Okay, so. now, now typically people um, are expected to show up at 5 a.m. and then the, the race actually starts at 6, is that the Yes, same? because showtime is at 5.30 and if you, you know, one of the late registrants, you can still register and, um, and be able to make it at the 6 o'clock uh, go time. Okay, and then how can people get registered? Okay, you can register anytime uh, this week from 8 to 5 at Catholic Social Services main office, which is directly behind the Revenue Tax Station building in Barragata. And uh, like I said, you can register there from 8 to 5 p.m. We're down at Hornet starting today from 10 o'clock in the morning to 8 o'clock p.m. And uh, awesome. the tickets are $7 per person, $20. Which is oh, yes. And, and $20 for a group of four, whether a group of family of four or just a group of friends of four, mm -hmm. and $5 for students. And if you decide to register on the day of the race, it'll be $10 for each individual. Okay. Um, is there anything else any, anybody should know about this or, you know, how they might uh, get involved? Do you guys need any volunteers for the event? Oh, yes. We've, uh, we'll welcome any volunteers. Mm -hmm. And if you're willing to volunteer for this race, please give me a call. 
or over at the main office, which is 635-1406, and ask for Janet, or myself at uh, 637-635. 1407. Okay, now the final yes. question, and I guess the most obvious one. Will the both of you be running? Well, we'll be uh, actually mm -hmm. coordinating and working with our, our, uh, our volunteers and our, our group um, preparing for the uh, race. Because that's what I always yes. say, too. People always ask me, am I going to run? I'll be, I'll, I'll be coordinating. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll have our family running. My son yeah. person will be running, and uh, we have uh, some of our staff members running. Yeah. All right, excellent. Well, thanks and I will register, and, uh, you know, I still receive the whole... Um, fund, fundraising will make sure that everything's in place for that day. Right, there will be t-shirts to give out, there will be um, door prices, and I guess the top three will be getting um, uh, uh, some prizes, awards for each division. Okay, so well, please show up. <laughs> All right, well, best of luck, and thank you for everything you do for the community. Okay. Well, thank, thank you. you. All right, and stay tuned.